uh, hello guys and welcome to another video in this video I'm going to show you how to um, use speech to text uh, Google API so basically uh, as you can see uh, on this image here uh, our activity will have one button or image view in this case and one um, edit text so whenever a user clicks this uh, microphone uh, little icon or a button um, it will open a white uh, dialog box uh, in which uh, users should start uh, talking to the microphone and then the Google API will uh, recognize those words or sentences and uh, after that it will uh, set uh, those words into our uh, edit text here. So I couldn't uh, record my screen while uh, doing this in my application I had few problems, but uh, I uh, showed you a few screenshots uh, as you can see here uh, so you could uh, understand uh, how it works, it's pretty much simple so don't worry, uh, I'm going to provide you a detailed instructions in uh, this tutorial so you can uh, manage to do the same as I did uh, ok, so uh, as you can see here uh, we have uh, one image view and one uh, edit text I have created this uh, image uh, for this purpose and uh, we're going to use uh, onclick listener to uh, listen to the user's uh, words using a speech to text Google API so now uh, head over to our main activity and we are going to um, create uh, those two objects for our uh, two UI elements uh, first is image view uh, we will name it uh, speech uh, button and edit text uh, we will name it uh, speech text okay so now in our own create method we're going to find the ID for those two elements all right okay it's image view and uh, one more time for edit text as well Alright, uh, now we're going to create a on click listener for our image view element. Like that. Pass uh, on click listener as a parameter. And then in our on click method, we are going to use uh, intent to, uh, in order to use this Google Speech to Text API. So in the intent, uh, we need to pass. Uh, um, uh, recognize uh, rec uh, recognizer uh, intent and uh, we're going to use uh, action uh, recognizer uh, recognizer speech so we can connect to our uh, API next we're going to put uh, extra in our intent so the first parameter uh, will be recognizer intent dot language uh, dot extra language model okay and the second parameter will be language uh, model free form so uh, if you're wondering uh, what those uh, two means well uh, the first uh, extra language model informs the recognizer uh, which speech model to prefer and the uh, language model free form uh, use language model based on free form speech recognition this is a value to use for uh, extra language model uh, also known as our first parameter here okay and now we'll, we're going to use uh, our intent to put extra um, extra prompt so recognizer intent dot extra prompt uh, this is uh, just uh, and the second parameter will be a uh, simple string so this extra prompt is just an optional text prompt to show to the user uh, when ask asking them to speak so you can basically type here anything you want and next we're going to start activity for result and pass uh, speech intent as a first parameter and uh, as a second parameter uh, we need to create an uh, integer variable global integer variable and um, okay just type here private static final integer we're going to name it um, 
uh, recognizer uh, result and we are going to set this integer to 1 so we're going to pass this value uh, 1 here and when we call our uh, on activity result uh, method then we can check if uh, it's the same value as we passed here to do the the function okay so press ctrl o and type uh, on activity result to find the method so we need to override this method and uh, now we're going to check uh, the request code and the result code so we're in if block we're going to say if uh, request code is uh, the same as our code which we passed in our integer variable and if uh, result code is uh, result ok then we're going to uh, store those uh, words or text uh, into our uh, array list so uh, just uh, import array list uh, here and uh, it will be a string let's name it uh, matches and uh, equals to data get string uh, array list extra uh, and we're going to pass uh, uh, recognizer intent dot extra results all right and now we're going to uh, use our edit text to set uh, uh, the text from our uh, speech uh, to text api from our array list so just use set text method here and uh, use uh, our array list dot get and uh, we're going to set the zero in these uh, brackets and let's convert this to string to be sure just to be sure and uh, that's pretty much it uh, our application should uh, work like a charm as you can see it's not a big deal it's pretty easy to implement this but this is a great function uh, which you can implement in your application and basically do uh, many things uh, you wish it's pretty modern uh, to have uh, speech to text uh, in your application these days I hope you enjoyed, uh, please like this video if you find it helpful and uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. See you in the next video.